Finally, finally we're here with all this beautiful stuff, all these beautiful parts, getting ready to build my first editing PC, my editing workstation. Um, here we go. My name is Jawan Caesar. I am a filmmaker, aspiring filmmaker, based out of Miami, Florida. And after four years of editing on a 2012 MacBook Air, I decided, you know, the proxy life just wasn't for me anymore. After a lot of research and a lot of YouTube, of course, researching products, researching different pieces of the puzzle, this is what I came up with right here. The links will be down in the description below. Starting off with here from AMD as my CPU, we got the Ryzen 3950X, workhorse, monster. Over here, we got my graphics card. It's the uh, GeForce RTX 2080 Super from EVGA, another beast. A tough time finding this thing in stock for all of this really, but um, hey, we got it done after some weeks of doing this. My motherboard, I have the, from MSI, the Meg. Shut up, Meg. X570 right here, Unify, X570 Unify. Uh, over here, we got a couple SSDs from Samsung, the 970 EVO Plus for the NVMe M.2 drive. And then uh, a SATA SSD right here, the 860 QVO. Power supply here, I have the Corsair RM850X, gonna give me enough power to power all this stuff that I have here. The, uh, I got some cooler fans here, some case fans, excuse me, from Easy DIY Fab. Shout out to Jay's Two Cents for this uh, recommendation. Jumped on it right away. For the RAM over here, we got some uh, Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabyte DIMMs. It's four of them in total, up to 64 gigs. Over here for the CPU cooler, I got the Noctua NHD 15 in black. Supposed to be a beast for air cooling. Uh, one of the best, if not the best air cooler out. And finally, what I've been waiting for, for quite some time, the Lian Lee Langcool 2 Mesh. It's the reason I haven't built my stuff in a couple weeks now. Long story short, ordered the Langcool 2 regular from Amazon, got lost in the mail, of course. Ordered it again from B&H. B&H never gave it to FedEx, of course. Finally, old reliable Newegg, about a week and a half ago, I ordered it this one as it released, I believe two weeks ago. Ordered the Lancool 2 mesh and it came in right away, just in time. So we're ready to get this done. So. Without further ado, let's do this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go back a second. That was weird. Anyway, let's go.
<laughs> well, that was an ordeal, I will say. But here is my final build. I'm done with everything pretty much. Got everything ready. Got all the apps updated on here. Adobe, Premiere, got DaVinci on here. Got everything. This took me a lot longer than expected. Like, a lot longer. I was thinking it was gonna take me like maybe two hours, hour and a half. <laughs> took me about six or seven hours to put this whole thing together. Now I ran into some issues, which was personally my fault. The fans, the fans, I tried to test them out before putting them into the case. They weren't working. I was wondering why I thought it was the power supply, you know, something like that. And turns out I was just supposed to plug the actual hub also to the motherboard. Duh. And also the case fans uh, were kind of tough to put into the case because the actual screws don't really work with these fans, the case that the fans that came with the case. So what I did was all I did was just grab some zip ties, threw them in there, zipped it up nice and it's all fitting smoothly. The, uh, the, the dust filter at the top, you know, is, is flush against the, uh, the top. So no issues there. None of the fans are, are shaking at all, but here it is. This is the rig. I mean, you guys want me to open it up? Here it goes. As you can see, the Landcool 2 mesh has this uh, this nice little magnet opening here with the perforated side for the airflow. If I open it up, boom, just, just magnificent, magnificent. <laughs> Anyways, you see it in that cinematic, uh, that B-roll that I got before this. I had to ask myself, you know, why? Why did I upgrade my, my computer? I could have gotten new lenses. I could have gotten new camera, what? <laughs> I upgraded my computer. Main reason because of my workflow. My workflow was absolutely terrible when it came to, to getting the edits done with my laptop. So I had that MacBook Air from 2012, probably had like eight gigs of RAM or less. <laughs> my phone probably has more than that now, but, um, Anytime I would try and edit anything, it would be even, you know, 1080 footage, didn't matter. I would have to use proxies and not only proxies like 720 proxies, I had to make uh, uh, my own preset custom proxy that was 360p. And that would take hours just for the proxies to even encode in media encoder, which would just, you know, obviously that's not the best when you're trying to do, you know, next day edits, things like that, trying to get quick turnarounds. So in the long run, obviously that, that, help, that doesn't help when you're trying to make more money and edit more things and get more shoots in. So this is a big help with that. Another reason I upgraded was because I wanted to get into more complex edits. So I would find myself getting kind of, not lazy with the edits, but I would find myself cutting things out because it would just take too long with my old computer. Things like, you know, going into After Effects and trying to rotoscope things out, trying to add motion graphics, things like that. Even simple things like trying to color grade and mask out stuff in Premiere was just, <laughs> things that were supposed to take me five minutes would take me 45 to an hour. And that's just not the way you wanna work. So with this, I won't have any of those issues. Edits are just gonna be pumping out like crazy. I'm excited for this, super excited for this. <laughs> you have no idea. And also, this just helps me with creativity. I mean, I, I wanna go back to that point of the workflow. You know, I got to get to do things faster. I get to do things right away, you know, instead of having to wait, sit and wait. I can now just go ahead and say, hey, I wanna do this, I'll shoot it, boom, get to edit it as soon as I can. Once I get the footage into the computer, and that's it, you know, that helps with the workflow, that helps with the creativity. It just helps you be a, a better creator at, in total, you know? So these are the biggest things, you know, that really helped me make the decision to upgrade to this computer. I got me a beast and this is what I ended up with after all the research. Shout out to uh, Tech Notice, uh, Matt Johnson on, on YouTube. Shout out to Jay's Two Cents. 
Gamers Nexus, a bunch of those creators on YouTube helped me learn what I needed to learn in such a short amount of time. You know, YouTube University, we all learn from there. <laughs> Gets the job done. And yeah, it's just so, it's so good. So I'm excited to finally start getting work done with this, this beast of a, of a computer. Proud of myself for putting it together like I did. <laughs> uh, if there's anything I could have done that would have increased that uh, workflow or been better, let me know in the comments because this is my first build that I've done by myself and my first build as an adult. So let me know. Thank you guys. Uh, like and subscribe. That's always welcome. <laughs> if you like this build, let me know. Thanks. <laughs>